wearing purple. How does it feel? Is it different? Uh, yeah, of course it's different, but I'm uh, uh, looking forward to the challenge and uh, coming to this great club and hopefully get some success in the near future and sustain success. That's the key. When did you make the decision to wear your clothes? Um, last night. Can you elaborate on why? What made you? Um, probably more is, is the right time for me. Um, probably West Coast uh, on the up. And it's probably a good time to leave. But sometimes that well, may sound a little bit silly, but uh, I think for me personally, I've been at the club a long time and put a lot of time and effort in with John and it's all worked out pretty well. And like I said, to, to leave him on the up is probably... I, I'm happy with that. Did you speak to John before you made the decision? Um, well, I made the decision with my wife, of course, and, and putting on a footy club, and John was the first bloke then I, I spoke to after that. Do you think that you needed to move clubs in order to maybe get a senior role down the track? Um, maybe. It's a, it wasn't the major reason for me uh, leaving. Of course, uh, Ross Lyon. Um, I'm really looking forward to that challenge uh, with Ross and, and working underneath him. Because I think uh, what he's done at St Kilda and hopefully he can uh, emulate that here at Fremantle going forward uh, will be a great challenge for the club. Have you had much to do with Ross before? Um, no, not really. A um, couple of times when John and Ross were at Carlton, uh, this is way back uh, about 10 or 12 years ago, uh, I flew over a couple of times, met up with uh, both of them for dinner and that, but uh, not much other than that. At what point did Frio contact you? Was it during the season or was it that just happened recently? Oh, just recently, yeah. So it's just the lure of a, a new challenge here at Fremantle to West Coast? Yeah, it is, it is. It's, and like I said, it's more my gut feeling, where I'm at and my career and what I need to achieve and what I can bring to this club and like I said I'm a Fremantle person and I've always said that, I've, I live just down the road and I've always had an ambition to come back here if I, if I could and I've got that opportunity and hopefully build the club up and, and get some success because I think there's a lot of Fremantle people who want that and hopefully uh, Ross can do that over the, the coming years. So have you spoken to Wusha since you made your decision? So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look, John was uh, disappointed, but uh, he understood the reasons. And like I said, uh, our friendship is uh, great, and you know we've got a great bond. And we're the only two people at uh, West Coast who have uh, achieved something, and that is uh, the whole five grand finals we've been a part of as a player slash coaches. And uh, you know to have that. As, as two people at West Coast, I think uh, that's why our bond will always last. What about the playing list? Is, what excites you about Fremantle's list? Oh, look, I, I think it's got a great blend. And I, I think, unfortunately, uh, this year with some injuries, uh, they didn't have a run at it. But, uh, you know, with some of the players coming back and the likes of Morabito as well, I, I, I really rate him highly, um, what I've seen of him prior year. So just, I, I think they've got a great list and they'll add to it. And I think over the coming years, I haven't sat down with Ross and gone through all that and what he's looking for with uh, personnel, uh, player-wise, in the draft and things like that. But I think the club's going places. Would you be as a forward line coach? Oh, yeah, at this stage, but the final details, we've we'll, we'll got to sit down with Ross and go through all that. Where do you see Matthew Pavlich in his career as a midfield forward? He played some time back in the start of his career. Where do you see him? Um, look, like I said, I, I think that's something... Um, got to sit down with Ross, I think he'll make those uh, key decisions, but uh, of course he's played in both areas and there's no doubt he might do a little bit of that next year, but we'll wait and see and see what Ross wants to do. <coughs> Did it take some time to make up your mind about actually moving down? Uh, yes and no. It, it, um, it was more, like I said, over the last couple of years, I, to be at one club for 10 years as an assistant... Um, I'm just thankful for West Coast for that. Um, must have been doing something right, I suppose. But uh, I, I just thought my time was, was coming. And like I said, I, I had an opportunity to move away from the club in 05, and that was to come here. And I knocked that back because of um, we lost the grand final and wanted to achieve something, and we happened in 06 to do it. 07, I had a chance to leave, and with Ben Cousins and Juddy leaving, I, I didn't think it was the right time. And last year there was an opportunity, but where the club was at, I said to John, well, let's just have a crack at it for one more year, see how it turns out. And fortunately for, for John, 
it, it went really well and of course he'll get an extension so then I thought well it's good for me to leave it's just hearing that it sounds like you've given a lot the West Coast you could have left at times in your stadium and haven't gone through hard time. yeah and I, I'm big on that I'm big on when clubs aren't going that well I, I know clubs make decisions with coaches and the whole lot but I'm big on staying with a club, making sure you build it up. Um, you go through, through some tough times, and that, that always happens. But if you can stick through those tough times, I've learned at West Coast, you, if you get through it, there's some very good times in football. Was right to your decision to come to the Dolphins? Would you still move the um, Tough question to answer. Um, all I know is that you know when I spoke to Ross... Uh, Yesterday, he, he was really good and the way he spoke and his passion about this club going forward and, you know, the vision, the whole lot, really, I got excited and uh, I was just wrapped with the way he was presenting and, and Chris Bond as well, we, they were both terrific in the, um, in the lead-up. So, look, all, all I know is that it was, it was a great conversation over a couple of hours and the decision was made later. Sounds like it was a deal-maker. No, no, look, I, I don't think so. I think he's, uh, he's a great coach. You, you, you don't do what he's done over five or six years um, at St Kilda and, and not be a very, very good coach. What yes. sort of reaction do you expect from others at West Coast outside of John and also the fans to the, uh, to the switch? Oh, look, I, I hope it's a positive one. Um, like I said, I've been at the club, player, coach for over 20 years. I, I think I've given them fair service and um, it'd be nice to be here for 20 years, you never know. But, um, you know, if, if I'm here for four or five, six years, whatever, I've got no doubt there'd be success at this club because of Ross and what he brings and the coaches around him and, and the play group. I can just sense what they want to achieve. Do you still have ambitions to be a senior coach, though? Oh, look, if, if that comes through, we'll wait and see. It's, it's not on the radar right now because I'm, I'm here at Fremantle as an assistant and looking forward to the challenge. Just specifically, Peter, um, when were you re-approached uh, about Fremantle, about coming on next year? Was that something from 12 months ago? Or was it no, 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 just recent. Last couple. We're done. Just a word for, for um, any West Coast players out there that you want to maybe say things. I know you probably still speak to them, but you know, there's a chance to sort of maybe give them a shout. Oh, look, there's, there's been some... Great players I've been involved in, and, and even this year, you know, I've spoken to four or five of the, the blokes up forward already um, before coming here. And I had some great times. Like I said, the, the match committee of 04, 05, 06, Steve Woodhouse, Tim Jeb, John Warsfold, um, Darren Harris, Tony McCall, we had some great times. And, you know, I can sense Ross would like to uh, build a group. Uh, around his players and stability is a big thing. I think that's what players sense. If they can sense that the coaching group's got some stability, I think you get a result on the field and um, I think that's where Ross is going with a lot of things and uh, hopefully we will get that result going forward. It sounds either like you were perhaps at West Coast at the year at this year last year you were ready to go 12 months ago as well? Um, yeah, would it, you know, I contemplated that. Like I said, I gut feeling over the last few years I'd, I've been saying to myself when is it time um, so yeah maybe that would have happened good on thank you